What's good everybody? Welcome back to another NBA 2K20 video. So today we are going to be looking at how to make one of the best NBA 2K20 playmaking glass cleaners. All right. So without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. If you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button and also ring that bell so you guys will get notified for all of my future videos. And uh, if you want to join the discord down below, it's in the pinned comments and smash the like button because it will truly help me get to my goal, which is 100k subscribers all right so we're going to go ahead and get right into it the position is going to be a power forward we kind of already knew this all right we we already knew this all right so if you guys don't like this build that i'm showing you guys right here i also have a whole nother build that is still the same nba 2k20 playmaking glass cleaner but it was just made a little bit different now i'm going to show you a little some some so the first thing that we, we want to choose is going to be our skill breakdown. For our skill breakdown, this is going to be the best one for this character, this position, this player, whatever. It's going to be the red and then also the yellow, the orange, whatever you want to call that, Joe. It's defense and playmaking, all right? So when it comes to the physical pie chart, you can take a look at all these different pie charts. But the one that you really want to focus on is going to be the one that gives you the max speed. Speed is going to kill in this game, especially for this build. So we're going to go ahead with the top physical pie chart. Now we have to set our skill potentials. I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. So you don't got to watch me do that. I don't want to bore you to death. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And then we'll be right back. All right. Cool. A few moments later. All right. So now that we are all finished with this, this is exactly what you should be looking like. So we're going to go ahead and look at the, the skill potentials real quick. So driving layup is a 67 and then your driving dunk is a 74. Trust me. I know it looks ugly, but it will go up, okay? Don't worry about it. Now, for your shooting, you kind of want to get close to maxing everything out. So, uh, you see the shooting stats right here. We're looking pretty good, all right? So, I'm going to go over the defensive jumps because you can't see it with my big old face cam. So, I, I, I got you. Um, so, for the pass accuracy, you want to max that out. You want to max out the ball handling because that also goes up. You'll be able to speed boost all, all that, all that. Post moves, I went with a 77. It does max out to like a 78, 79, I think. But post moves, all you need is a 77 and you're lit. Now, we're going to go ahead and talk about these defensive ones because I know you guys can't see it. So just follow along with me. Interior defense is going to be a 77. Perimeter defense is going to be a 67. Lateral quickness, a 68. Steal, you're not going to touch that at all. Block, you're going to hit that at an 84. Offensive rebound is an 83. And then the defensive rebound is an 89. So you guys will definitely get this if you guys were paying attention. Just don't skip because if you miss something, you're going to make this wrong and you're going to be upset. So looking at the badges, we get one finishing badge, 10 shooting badges, 17 playmaking, and 20 defensive slash rebounding badges, which is cool which is cool we can be we can do whatever with this all right so we're going to go ahead into the next thing and that's going to be our body shape now i really don't think it matters but i'm going to go ahead and choose either defined or let's see defined or build i'm just going to go defined all right i'm, I'm going to look kind of muscular you feel me so the last build that i did for this playmaking glass cleaner was at six foot eight i thought that it gave you everything i think this is the one of the best ways to make it, but it's not the only way to make a playmaking glass cleaner, all right? So, the 6.8 version is in my video from yesterday. So, go check out that video, and you'll find that that, that build is amazing, all right? But today, we're going to change it up just a little bit, all right? We're going to get some more speed on us. So, today, instead of 6 foot 8, we're going 6 foot 7. We still are tall. The ball handling massively improves. The speed massively improves. And we're going to test this out, all right? Six foot seven is going to be our height for this video. And now for the weight, I got everything written down. We're going to go with 209, all right? So it takes a, it's going to give us a little bit of a, a little decline in that strength. But we got the speed. We still got enough strength. I don't expect to guard big players all the time. This is more like a park build. This is something that's going to be very fun and very dominant, all right? So 209 is what we're going to go to now for the wingspan. You do not want to minimize the wingspan just because you still want to be able to play defense. Now, I know 
if you guys are good at the game, then you can, you can do whatever, all right? But I'm speaking to some of those that are kind of beginners, all right? So long wingspan is going to give you better defensive stats and all that other stuff. We kind of already knew that, but if you didn't, there you go. But we're going to go with 80, all right? 80 is probably going to be the best because it's not all the way down. It's only like an inch difference, but 80 is definitely going to be good for us. I don't want to minimize any more of my wingspans while I play 2K ever again, okay? I, I, I've learned, all right? So 80 wingspan is all we need. And now when it comes to the takeover, it's kind of a no-brainer. You should probably go with the playmaking one, all right? The playmaking one's gonna allow you to speed boost and take ankles and all that other stuff that you guys really wanna do. So we're gonna go ahead and choose the playmaking one. So now at the end of it all, we have a playmaking glass cleaner. We, we got Charles Oakley, Jason Tatum, and also Paul Millsap, which isn't bad, which isn't bad. I kind of wanted to see Giannis, but if you wanted the six foot eight monster that I made on my last video, then that was number one Giannis, okay? So go check that video out after this. I have like two other OP builds over there, but now we're gonna go ahead and get into these badges. So let's go ahead and test this build out. We're gonna go ahead and get into the badges and I'm gonna show you what I would equip with this player build when it comes to getting these badges. Now the badges are gonna make you OP. All right, the badges, the speed, the everything pretty much. So when it comes to the finishing, let's see, we're doing this all together right now. This is the first time I'm doing this. So when it comes to this, I think if you don't do slithery, you should probably do relentless. Relentless on bronze, we're going we're going to get that right. We're going to get that right. You can always change it after. So this this is just my opinions on what you should be using, but you can always feel free to change the badges. There is no right or wrong unless you're just using all the worst badges in the game. I got badge tutorials and videos on this channel as well, so just go check that out. It's in a playlist. So all right, so for your shooting badges, we all know we're going to need range extender. All right, let's see if we can put that right there. Um, quick draw, we can we can deal with that on silver. Uh, let's see what else. Let's see what else. Dead eye, we're gonna need that a little bit, and then I think we should get hot zone hunter on gold. I think that's what I'm rocking with right now. That's what that yeah. This don't look good. This is what I'm rocking with right now. We don't really need catch and shoot. We're gonna be dribbling and all that uh yeah, yeah yeah this is this is it these are the badges that i would first equip to my player build if i was making this all from scratch right now the first batch i would go for is definitely going to be range extender and then quick draw because you're playing the computer all right so quick draw range extender and but if you're playing at the park through all of it it's probably quick draw then range extender and hot zone hunter that i use you, you guys catch my drift, but that's the shooting badges. Now we're going to go ahead into the plate making badges. All right. So first things first, you guys already know, ain't no cap. Floor General is probably one of the best playmaking badges in this game. So we're going to do that. Quick first step, Hall of Fame. We already know that. Uh, Space Crater could probably be on silver. Tight Handles be on silver. Handles for Days could be on, let's try to make that gold. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm digging this. I'm digging this. You guys, depending on the teammates that you have, if they want, you know, a little bit of dimer, then feel free to take this and put it on this. Or like, it, it, it's up to you. But floor general should be all that you need. You probably don't need both. But if you can afford both, I would definitely say get both. But some people are just different. You know what I'm saying? What you like might be different from what I like, and that's cool. So we're going to go ahead and get into our last set of badges, which is our defensive badges. So, of course, we're going to go ahead and need clamps. Uh, we're going to need intimidator. We can probably get away with a gold interceptor. Then when it comes to rim protector, I would like that right there on gold um let's see what else can we get what else pogo uh I'm, I'm kind of feeling hall of fame on pogo i don't really know i'm kind of feeling hall of fame on pogo we can at least get a bronze chase down i'm kind of I'm, I'm i'm kind of feeling i'm kind of feeling that hall of fame not gonna lie if not hall of fame keep it on gold and then get a silver rebound chaser and you're you're good 
you're good. You got gold clamp or Hall of Fame clamps, Hall of Fame intimidator, gold interceptor. Because since we didn't put the steel up, it's really not hard to play passing lanes. So play the passing lanes. Like that's what I'm trying to tell you. You don't have to sit there and just spam square, spam X, because nine times out of ten, you're not gonna get the steal right away. So just play passing lanes, you'll be good with interceptor. So that makes up for the lack of our steel rating. Pogo is so you could play uh, better interior defense. You're going to be lit. Uh, rim protector, of course, better con or better interior defense and you know better contest, all that. And then rebound chaser to get those rebounds because our rebounding is fairly pretty high. And chase down artists because you know we some demons. <laughs> you feel me? We some demons out there. So these are all the badges that I would equip to this player build straight off bat. All right. Feel free to change it once you max out all your badges. You're, you're going to be good. You can change it at will. Do whatever you please. But these are just what I would do. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash a like on it because it would truly help this channel grow and hit my goal, which is 100,000 subscribers, okay? That'll put us on the recommended page so more people can see and hopefully more people can like. But if you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button and also ring that bell so you guys will get future notifications. Now, if you want to make sure that you get these notifications, then also join my Discord server where we can talk 2K. You can DM me any questions and we could just chat and probably react to some memes all right so join the discord that link will be down below in the pinned comment but hopefully you guys enjoyed this one and then i will see you in the next one peace